Okay, guys, this is Linda from North Central Texas. Today, we're going to be making a uh, rocky road fudge, and it only takes about two minutes. I'm going to use a can of condensed milk, which I've already put in the bowl. We're going to use three tablespoons of butter. That's two tablespoons right there. Get another tablespoon off of here. We're going to... We have the milk, the chocolate chips, and the butter. We've got one bag of chocolate chips, and this is a 10-ounce bag. Got to cut the top off of it. And we're just going to stir it around a little bit. And we're going to put that in the microwave for one minute. We're also going to take our pan. You can use whatever kind of pan you want. I've got a baking pan. And I'm going to line it with aluminum foil. And it goes up a little bit on the sides. Then up on the ends enough that when I put my fudge in there and it cools off, I can lift it out. Now I'm going to take my stick of butter. And I'm just going to grease my pan with my stick of butter. And that's just to help the fudge not from sticking to the um, aluminum foil. It'll make it easier to come out. clean my hands off because I got butter on them. Now I'm going to take the uh, Now you take it out of the microwave after one minute, and you got to stir it up. And hopefully the butter's going to melt. <laughs> so that's one can of condensed milk, one package of uh, chocolate chips, and three tablespoons of butter. Okay, if it's not completely melted, put it in for another 15 seconds. And I need to put it in for about another 15 seconds. We don't want it too hot. We don't want it to cook too much because if you do, it's going to lump up. 
And when I take it out this time, I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla. I mean, this is quick and easy fudge. Yeah, just the butter needed to be melted. All my chocolate chips are melted already. It was just the butter. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. Mm, it smells good. I still got a patter little thing of butter that's not melted I'm trying to squeeze it up a little bit <laughs> break it up I guess it was too cold out of the refrigerator <laughs> okay Now you're going to add your nuts. And I've just got a small bag of walnuts. It's only like four ounces. Putting them in there. And then we need three cups of marshmallows. Get my measuring cup. <laughs> There's one. Two. Now you can use peanuts, you can use walnuts, you can use any kind of nuts you want. And then just simply mix it up. And it takes a little bit of stirring because that chocolate is kind of thick. And see, this way your marshmallows are not going to melt. They're going to stay pretty much whole. But mix it up good. Takes a little bit to get it mixed up. Mmm. <laughs> Got chocolate on my fingers. Makes it finger licking good. Now you're just going to pour it in your pan. And like I said, it's kind of thick.
Now this is not the kind of fudge you're going to want to mail to anyone. I mean, if you use it for like a Christmas present or Easter present or something like that, if you can deliver it in person, that's great. But it's not something you want to deliver in the mail because it may melt on you. And you're not going to be able to get this even, or not too even anyway. But you can just do the best you can to flatten it out in your pan. And I don't buy candy. <laughs> Once in a while I might buy a bag of cookies, but that's about it. Maybe a bag a month. And I love chocolate, so I decided I was going to do this recipe and make me some Rocky Road fudge. Now you need to let it uh, cool off preferably in the refrigerator for two hours. And then we can take it out and cut it. I'm trying to get all these little holes filled because I don't want it to have big gaps in it. It's better just to mash it down to flatten it, you know, to spread it out. And I guess this is like a 10 by 14 pan, something like that. That way your fudge is not too thick, but it's not real thin either. But there it goes. We're going to let it cool for the two hours, and then we'll take it out and cut it apart and let you see what it looks like. But how easy is that? I mean, like if you've got a church function or a birthday party to go to and you want to take a treat, this is a great thing to take. You can make it just a few hours before you go to the function. And you don't have to spend all day making it. So I'll bring you back in a little bit, and we'll cut it apart. Okay, this is Linda back with you. We're going to see if we can get our uh, Rocky Road fudge out of the refrigerator. It's been in there for... And see, this is why we wanted to line it. You can pick the whole thing up. The whole thing comes up to where you can either cut it or you can break it, actually. We're going to try cutting it and see how it works. <laughs> I guess I got my arm in front of everybody, so you can't see what I'm doing. Put it this way, maybe you can see. <laughs> I 
putting my hand on top to give put pressure on it to cut it. It's real gooey. Squares too big. <laughs> now you can put these on a plate to serve them. Or you can put them in some kind of a plastic container that you have a lid for and store them in the refrigerator until you get ready to eat them. Or just, you know, take some out that you want to eat, put the rest back in the refrigerator. Because if it gets too hot, it will melt. This is not like some of the cook fudge that you get that, you know, you can mail. You can't do that with this one. But you can take it somewhere. <laughs> and see, that's why we wanted to butter the aluminum foil so it doesn't stick. And look at that. You got Rocky Road fudge. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that's a pretty piece of fudge right there. Look at all the marshmallows and the nuts in there. I'm going to have to put it in the refrigerator. Because it'll take me a long time to eat this much fudge. <laughs> See, once you uh, butter your aluminum foil just a little bit, it comes right up. It doesn't stick. And I will probably find some kind of a container that I have around to put this in. I wasn't sure what size one to get that I have will hold it, so I'm just gonna wait till I got it out of here. This one doesn't want to come up too good. It must not have got too much butter on it. It's coming up though. I didn't want it wet with butter on the bottom. <laughs> It's been in the refrigerator for two hours, so. I probably should have waited to fix this one. I knew I was going to my son's house or someone was coming over. I wouldn't have all this fudge to eat. But, like I said, I'll put it in the refrigerator. I might even freeze part of it. Because I know I don't, I'm not going to eat it all. 
not right away anyway. <laughs> it take me quite a while to eat that much fudge. You see, for the most part, it just comes right up. The trick is leaving it in the refrigerator long enough, at least two hours. And the marshmallows are basically what's sticking. It's not really the chocolate. Oops. <laughs> yeah, it comes right up. This is basically an old fashioned Fudge. Ooh, that's a little melted right there. Might not have left it in there quite long enough. <coughs> but there you go. I had to taste that piece. That's pretty good. And it's just that easy to clean up your mess. Man, that is a pile of chocolate fudge right there. Let's see if I can get a better shot. I mean, that is a pile of fudge, guys. <laughs> Look at there. That is a pile of fudge. Y'all have some. I had a little piece here a minute ago. Where'd it go? I gotta try it. Mmm. Oh my god. That is so good. Y'all fix you some Rocky Road chocolate fudge. <laughs> 